Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 27. Class 27. Let's go! Beginner. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, bienvenidos, welcome to class 27. Bienvenidos a la clase 27. Wow. Here we are. Welcome, welcome. Vamos a empezar, como siempre, con un repaso de lo que hemos visto en el último clase. Estuvimos practicando con la palabra for. Is that for her? Yes. It's for her. Is it for me? Is, is para mí? Is, is, is that for me? Is it for me? Yes. It's for you, Kyle. Oh, bueno, gracias. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ok, vamos a practicar así con respuestas en afirmativo. Is that for her? Yes, it's for her. It's for her. Pronunciation. What? Vamos a fijarnos un momento con la pronunciación aquí, for. Cuando hablamos rápido, nunca, bueno, normalmente no digamos for. That's for her. No, digamos for. That's for her. That's for her. It's for you. It's for me. It's for him. It's for her. It's for us. It's for them. It's for us. It's for them. It's for you. It's for my brother. It's for my mother. It's for you. Is it for us? Yes, it's for us. Ok, estoy hablando muy rápido, pero no, pero fíjate de cuando hablo rápido, digo for, for, en vez de for. Que no estoy pronunciando bien, pero es así que, que, que pronunciamos. That's the way we do it. That's the way we say it. Are these for us? Yes, they're for you. Are they for us? Son para nosotros. Sí, son para vosotros. Yes, they're for you. Are these for me? Yes, they're for you, Kyle. Is that for her? Yes, it's for her. Is this for them? Yes, it's for them. Is this for me? Yes, it's for you. And remember, cuando, cuando está en singular, is this for me? Cambiamos a it en la respuesta siempre, como hemos visto por lo menos cinco veces antes, ¿vale? Is this for him? Yes, it's for him. It's for him. Y más rápido, it's for him. For, it's for him. Is that for her? Yes, it's for her. Muy lento, it's for her. Y muy rápido, yes, it's for her. It's for her. Are these for me? Yes, they're for you. Yes, they're for you. They're for you. Oh, bueno, gracias. Is this for me? Yes, it's for you. Is this for her? Yes, it's for her. Are these for them? Yes, they're for them. They're for them. Are these for us? Yes, they're for us. Are those for her? Yes, those are for her. Yes, they're for her. Cambiamos al de, sí, mejor. Yes, they're for her. Are those for her? Yes, they're for her. They're not for you, they're for her. They're not for my brother, they're for her. They're not for my mother, they're for her. They're hers and they're for her. Ok, muy bien. Ahora, bueno, podemos practicar los números, numbers. Estuvimos practicando con los números de 11 a 20. Luego vamos a practicar, en, en esa clase 27, vamos a practicar números hasta 100. Pero ahora, en el repaso, repasamos los números de 11 a 20. We will review the numbers from 11 to 20. Because after that, they get easier, ok? Hay unos trucos, pero son más fáciles, porque aquí tenemos que pasar por los teens, the teens. So we have 11, 11, 12, conmigo, por favor, en casa, ¿eh? 11, 12, 13, muy bien, gracias, gracias, ¿eh? Pero conmigo, siempre, siempre en voz alta. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17... 18, 19, 20. Muy bien. Por eso tenemos los números de 13 a 19, que son los números teens, porque acaben con 
teen. Por eso, los jóvenes, digamos, teenagers. Por un joven entre 13 a 19 años, llaman teenagers. He's a teenager. When I was a teenager, I lived in Canada. A teenager, de 13 a 19, porque mi, mi edad acaba con, con teen, T-E-E-N, teen, teenager. One more time, counting up and counting down. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 19, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Okay. Now, very fast, from 1 to 20. Very fast, much faster. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good. All right. Word of the day. Word of the day. That's right. It's time now for the word of the day. Nuestro palabra del día. The word of the day today is, is bueno, es un verbo. Vender. ¿Cómo se dice vender? En inglés. To sell. To sell. Sell. Pero fíjate y cuidado con la pronunciación. Digamos sell. No es shell. Sino sell. 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 Today I sell... Yesterday, I sold. I sold the book. Yesterday. Every day, I sell books. We sell products. Companies sell products. Venden productos. They sell products. Okay, to sell. The verb to sell is our word of the day. If we sell something, then our customer is buying it. A customer buys a product. Producto. A customer buys a product. Someone has to sell the product so that they can buy it. Para que puedan comprarlo, alguien tiene que venderlo. Someone has to sell it. So that, para que, so that they can buy it. Ahora, we, uh, vamos, estamos aquí en la clase 27, 27.2. You can follow along in your stu student guide at home. Vamos a hacer un poco de traducción para, para practicar esa idea de unos pronombres. Vamos a practicar con traducción con los pronombres, ¿vale? Translation. All right, let's try a little translation. Estás dándome un libro. You're giving me a book. Vamos a hacer muchas preguntas, bueno, muchas, mu muchos, muchos ejemplos con book, ¿ok? Estoy dándote un libro. I'm giving you a book. Very good. Estoy dándole a él un libro. I'm giving him a book. Estoy dándole a ella un libro. I'm giving her a book. Estás dándonos un libro. You're giving us a book. Estoy dando os un libro. I'm giving you a book. You, pero, but, but plural. Plural, pero digamos you. Otra vez. I'm giving you a book. Estoy dando os un libro. Estoy dándoles un libro. I'm giving them a book. I'm giving them a book. Y ahora con un lápiz. With a pencil. Estoy dándole a él un lápiz. I'm giving him a pencil. Estás dándome un lápiz. You're giving me a pencil. Estoy dándole a ella un lápiz. I'm giving her a pencil. Ahora un poco más. Voy a, yo voy a seguir un poco más lento para que puedas seguir en casa en voz alta, ¿vale? Estoy dándole a ella un lápiz. En voz alta. I'm giving her a pencil. Very good. Están dándome un lápiz. They're giving me a pencil. Very good. Estoy dándolos 
un lápiz. Estoy dándoos un lápiz. I'm giving you a pencil. Estás dándonos un lápiz. You're giving us a pencil. Está él dándole a él un lápiz. He's giving him a pencil. My brother for my brother is giving my father a pencil, for example. He's giving him a pencil. Estoy dándote un lápiz. I'm giving you a pencil. I'm giving you a pencil. Estoy dándoles un lápiz. I'm giving them a pencil. Ahora con un mechero. Estoy dándote un mechero. I'm giving you a lighter. I'm giving you a lighter. Está, está ella dándome un mechero. She's giving me a lighter. Estoy dándoos un mechero. I'm giving you a lighter. Estoy dándole a ella un mechero. I'm giving her a lighter. Muy bien, muy bien en casa, ¿eh? Estás, dando, est estás dándonos un mechero. You're giving us a lighter. Estoy dándole a él un mechero. I'm giving him a lighter. Estás dándome un mechero. You're giving me a lighter. Estoy dándoles un mechero. I'm giving them a lighter. Very good. Very good. We've just practiced with some very simple objects, the book, the pencil, the lighter, because I want to focus here. I want to... Quiero practicar la gramática. Es lo importante aquí. Vamos, a añadir, vamos practicando con más, más vocabulario. Ahora vamos a seguir con estos cinco palabras de vocabulario del día. Pero lo importante aquí, es muy, muy importante los pronombres. Que por eso tenemos que practicar y machacar la, esa idea de, del orden de palabras y, y pronombres y cómo usarlos bien, ¿vale? Ok, let's move on. Vamos a avanzar un poco. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it is time for the vocabulary of the day. Our five words, nuestros cinco palabras de vocabulario. Pez, o también pescado. En inglés, digamos lo mismo. La misma palabra por los dos. Pez, pescado, fish, fish. Y es, es un poco curioso porque digamos one fish, two fish. No digamos fishes, nunca. Fish. Y pescar, el verbo pescar, también es fish, to fish. I like to fish. When I go fishing, I catch fish. I hope to catch fish. Y tengo también una mascota, bueno, sí, que, que es un, un pez, a fish, as a pet. I had a pet. I have a pet fish. A pet fish. I eat fish. I go fishing. Fish, 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 fish. One fish, two fish. Bosque. Forest. Forest. Eso es. Fruta. Fruit. Fruit. No es fruit, sino fruit. F-R-U-I-T. Fruit. Fruit. To eat fruit. He had a piece of fruit. To eat fruit. Y pelo. Hair. Hair. Yes, to have long hair, short hair. Hair, hair, hair. Hair. Duro, duro, hard, hard. Eso es, hard, duro. Very good. All right. Muy bien. Vamos a seguir, como he dicho antes, vamos a practicar con números. Otra, ve otra vez con números, pero sí. Ahora hasta cien. Are you ready to practice with numbers? Numbers up to 100. Okay. Ok, bueno, ahora vamos a contar hasta 100 en grupos de 10, ¿vale? 10, 20, 30, así. 10, 20, 30, 40. Conmigo, conmigo en, en voz alta. 10, 20, 30, 40, 
fifty. Fifty. Fíjate que la V de five ha cambiado ya al, al, al F, porque hay una relación muy especial entre la, la V y la F, como te he dicho antes, ¿no? Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. One hundred. Eso es, one hundred. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. One hundred. And now the number's ending in one. Okay? Ahora, si practicamos así, luego conocemos, bueno, entendamos mejor el sistema de cómo pronunciar los números, okay? Numbers ending in one. Twenty. Bueno, once. Eleven. Twenty-one. Thirty-one. Forty-one. Fifty-one. Sixty-one. Seventy-one. Eighty-one. Ninety-one. Muy bien. Now the number's ending in two. Twelve. Bueno, por, podemos empezar con dos. Two. Twelve. Twenty-two. Thirty-two. Forty-two. Fifty-two. Sixty-two. Seventy-two. Eighty-two. Ninety-two. And now the number's ending in three. Three. Thirteen. Twenty-three. Thirty-three. Forty-three. Fifty-three. Sixty-three. Seventy-three. Eighty-three. Ninety-three. Now the number's ending in four. Four. Fourteen. Twenty-four. Thirty-four. Forty-four. Fifty-four. Sixty-four. Seventy-four. Eighty-four. Ninety-four. And now the number's ending in five. Five. Fifteen. Twenty-five. Thirty-five. Forty-five. Fifty-five. Sixty-five. Seventy-five. Eighty-five. Ninety-five. Very good. Now let's count from... Yeah, from... Seventy-five... Setenta y cinco hasta cien. Seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two, eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine, ninety, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, Ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. Muy bien. Hasta pronto. Hemos quedado. Nos hemos quedado sin tiempo. Ahora, bueno, tengo que terminar. Hasta pronto. Chao. Bye bye.